Hi, welcome to 6 Minute Math. Sa video na to, malalaman natin kung paano hanapin ang center at radius ng circle in general form na hindi gumagamit ng completing the square. For example, number 1, we have x squared plus y squared minus 14x plus 2y plus 14 is equal to 0. To get the center of a circle in general form, we use the formula negative 1 half times d, comma, negative 1 half times e. And para makuha naman natin yung radius ng circle, we use the formula square root of h squared plus k squared minus f. So, kailangan nating mahanap si d, e, and f para makuha natin ang center and radius ng circle in general form. Kung i-recall natin ang General form of the equation of the circle, we have x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0. So kung papansinin natin si d katabi ni x, si e katabi ni y, at mag-isa lang si f which is constant din. So from the given, ang d ngayon natin dito ay negative 14 kasi si negative 14 katabi ni x at para makuha naman natin si e titingnan natin yung katabi ni y which is 2 so e is equal to 2 and yung mag-isa which is 14 siya yung magiging f so pwede na ngayon natin i-substitute yung mga given values sa center and sa radius so ang center ngayon natin dito ay negative 1/2 times negative 14, comma, negative 1 half times 2. So, isimplify lang natin siya. Negative 1 half times negative 14 is equal to positive 7. And negative 1 half times 2 is equal to negative 1. So, ito na ngayon yung magiging center ng given natin. So, center at 7, comma, negative 1. Para makuha natin si radius, We have square root of 7 squared. So, naging 7 squared siya dahil si h ay equal to 7 and negative 1 squared naging negative siya, negative 1 since k is equal to negative 1. Minus 14 since f is equal to 14. So, isimplify natin. We get 7 raised to 2 or 7 times 7 is equal to 49. Then negative 1 squared or negative 1 times negative 1 is equal to positive 1. Then minus 14. So kung isisimplify ulit natin siya, we have 49 plus 1 minus 14 is equal to 36. So r is equal to square root of 36. So, kunin lang natin yung square root ng 36, which is 6, para makuha natin si radius. So, ito na ngayon yung radius natin. So, hindi na natin kailangan gumamit ng completing the square para makuha yung center at radius ng circle in general form. For example, number 2, we have x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 7 is equal to 0. So, para makuha natin yung center, we use the formula negative 1 half times d, comma, negative 1 half times e. At para makuha naman natin si radius r, we have square root of h squared plus k squared minus f. At ang general form ng circle natin, we have x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0. So, from the given, i-identify natin si d, si e, and si f. Since katabi ni x, si negative 6, siya yung magiging d. So, d is equal to negative 6. And wala si y, so e is equal to 0. And for f, we have here negative 7, kaya f is equal to negative 
7. So, na-identify na natin si D, E, and F. Pwede na natin siyang i-substitute sa center. So, by direct substitution, we have negative 1 half times negative 6, comma, negative 1 half times 0. So, i-simplify lang natin siya. We have negative 1 half times negative 6 is equal to 3. And 1 half times 0 is equal to 0. So, ang center ng given natin, we have 3, comma, 0. So, ang H ay 3, ang K ay 0. So, substitute naman natin siya sa R para makuha natin yung radius. We have square root of 3 squared plus 0 squared minus negative 7. So, isimplify lang natin siya. We have 3 squared or 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Then, 0 squared is equal to 0. And negative times negative 7 is equal to positive 7. So, we have square root of 9 plus 0 plus 7 is equal to square root of 16. So, kunin ngayon natin yung square root ng 16 which is 4. So, ang radius natin ay r is equal to 4.